Here's a T7 math practice question. In a classroom of 30 students, 18 are boys. What is the ratio of girls to boys? Is it A, B, C, or D? Pause the video, give it a shot. If you select a D, you are correct. Now we have to be careful, we're trying to find the ratio of girls to boys. Order is important, and notice we also need to find the number of girls. 30 represents the number of students in the classroom, 18 of those 30 are boys, the remaining 12 are girls. 30 minus 18 is 12. Now the ratio of girls to boys, girls comes first, two boys comes second. 12 girls to 18 boys. Now we can write ratios as fractions or we can put a colon in between two values like you see in your answer choices. Let's start with the fraction. 12 girls, that's our numerator, two, 18 boys, that's our denominator. 12 over 18, let's simplify this fraction. Common factors are two, three, and six. Let's go ahead and divide by six to simplify this fraction in one step. 12 divided by six is two, 18 divided by six is three. So 12 girls to 18 boys is the same thing as saying two girls for every three boys. I can't stress it enough, order is important. Girls comes first, boys come second. 2 over 3, or 2, 2, 3. Notice I used the word 2, T-O, in the place of that colon. So 2 over 3, 2 to 3, that's why D is our answer.